Chag Sameach and greetings from the Levin family sukkah. We are about to enter the last phase of the Yom Tov season, Shmini Yatzeret and Simchat Torah. And I thought I would take the opportunity to share with you some insights about this festival and also read for you the ending verses of the Torah and also the beginning verses of the Torah, which we celebrate on Simchat Torah. So what is this Chag about, Simchat Torah? Well, on Simchat Torah, we dance. We dance with the Torah. We celebrate with the Torah. We've gone through this emotional journey from Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur, and Sukkot, and we finish it on a high. And how do we engage with the Torah on this day? We don't study it necessarily, of course we're supposed to, but the celebration of Simchat Torah is dancing with our feet. And I'd like to share with you a beautiful insight that I heard from our very own Rabbi Krasniansky when I was a kid back in Or Chadash. And it goes like this. Shmini Yatzeret, and collectively Simchat Torah, they are referred to in the Gemara as Regel Bifne Atzma, a festival on its own. We know that Shmini Yatzeret directly follows Sukkot, but it is actually considered a separate holiday. And why, why, do, we, why do we call it that, a, a, a festival on its own? Because the Regel, the Regel reminds us of our feet, right? When it comes to Simchat Torah, we dance with our feet, and our feet are all on the same level. It doesn't matter how tall or, or short a person is, at the feet we're all at the same level. And the same is true with our connection and relationship with the Torah. It doesn't matter how much a person may know or not know. At the end of the day, we are all part of the Jewish nation. We all have a connection to the Torah, and we, that is something we need to celebrate. And when we say Regel B'fnei Atma, a festival on its own, we know the word Regel means foot. It reminds us of another statement when the great sage Hillel was asked to, to say what is the entire Torah on one foot. He said, Love your fellow as yourself. When we finish out this Yom Tov season and celebrate the Torah, we have to remember to love each other as ourselves, that we have to throw away our differences and just look at the other person and say, wow, you're a Jew, you're someone I can connect to, and we can connect to each other on that way, because we all have a connection to the Torah. And that is what we need to remember when celebrating this holiday. So even though we can't be in shul this festival, which is of course very unfortunate, but let's dance at home, dance with your family, and try to channel this wonderful message of Simchat Torah to all of those around you. Now, as we do on Simchat Torah, I'm going to be concluding the last few psukim, the last few verses of the Torah, and then starting the first few verses of Bereshit. The end of the Torah, the Zot HaBracha, tells us about the incredible prophetic nature of Moshe Rabbeinu and all of the incredible wonders and miracles that he performed for the Jewish people in the desert. Lefaroi ulechol avodov, ulechol arzoi. Ulechol hayor hachazoko, ulechol hamoro hagodol. Asher oso moshe leene kol Yisrael. And we say all together, chazak, chazak, venis chazek. May we all be strengthened to study the Torah and to continue learning and engaging with the Torah in this coming year. Now, of course, we don't stop there. We don't just finish it. We have to start it all the way back from the beginning. We begin the Torah anew once again. Bereshi is bara Elohim, eis ha-shamayim, ve-eis ha-aret, ve-ha-aret, ho-yeso soyu vavoyhu, ve-choyshech al penei Veruach Elohim, Merachefes al pene hamoyim, Vayomer Elohim, Yehi or, Vayihi or, Vayar Elohim, Eshoor Kitoy, Vayavdel Elohim, Bain Hoor, Uvain Hafoy Shech, Vayikro Elohim, Loor Yoim, Velachoy Shech. Koraloi lo, vayi erev, vayi voiker, 
Yom Echad. As we begin the Torah with light, by Yihor, we hope that everyone has a wonderful end to the Yom Tov season. And please God, may we see each other in Shul very, very soon. Thank you. Good Yom Tov. Chag Sameach.